the whole thing started at Delivering Alpha. I'm, I'm not a political analyst. I'm a financial analyst. But it, were, it uh, was your words, not, really, your words, not mine, Lee. Yeah. The only, I'd like to modify my words a little bit. Uh, first of all, I want to say the, the significance of an event for the stock market is a function of what the stock market is discounting at the time the event occurs. The market at 3,050, whatever we are at the moment, is basically assuming a Trump re-election. If the stock market, if it's starting to look like Elizabeth Warren has a reasonable chance of winning, the stock market already will be down quite substantially. And they will open the market. You know, if they open the market after 9-11, they're going to open the market uh, no matter who wins the presidency. I think people, uh, I think very... people, I think people understood you were, you were being a little bit hyperbolic at delivering alpha when you said it wouldn't open. You've later made the point on Squawk and elsewhere that you thought stocks would go down 25%. Is a, as if Elizabeth Warren became president. This whole thing has escalated now be between the two of you. Um, with this letter, why did you feel so compelled to write this letter directly to Senator Warren, Lee? Well, you know, uh, Aristotle, I think, observed that uh, basically the last virtue of a society is tolerance and uh, indifference. And so I preach engagement. And I feel she's taking the country down a very wrong path. I noticed today in the Wall Street Journal, uh, they had an editorial that said, Warren has a fantasy plan. What she's peddling is bull, total, complete bull. You know? And by the way, that comes from somebody who believes in the progressive income tax structure, who believes the rich should pay more. Okay? I have no problem with that. What we have to do as a nation is decide on what should the max in tax rate be on wealthy people, and let's move it there and deal with our issues. You know, uh, I have no problem with that. Uh, as I said in my letter to Pre uh, uh, Senator Warren, I have no problem working six months a year for the government, six months for myself, which implies a 50 percent tax rate. Uh, my guess is she wants a lot more. The wealth tax is a bankrupt concept. There are 14 or so nations that have tried it and they've dropped it. I mean, it's a nightmare. For 50 years, uh, we've been promised, uh, you know, simplification by the IRS. This would be a nightmare. It would be a nightmare. Every year, you're going to calculate your net worth, and then you're going to give 2% of your net worth to the government. It's ridiculous. Gold would surge because people would find gold as a place to hide their wealth. Uh, it's just the wrong idea. It's a bankrupt concept. And I think that her and Bernie Sanders are presenting a lot of ideas to the public, which are morally and socially bankrupt. And we will get I came into... Across we, a we, we, we'll, we'll I, get I into... Came across, no, excuse, forgive me this one thing. I came across a quote this morning... Beautiful. This is from a black economist uh, associated with the Hoover Institute, uh, um, an African-American. Uh, and he says, since this is an era when many people are concerned about fairness and social justice, what is your fair share of what someone else has worked for? That's the essence of the argument. I have no problem with the progressive income tax structure. I have no problem paying more. The fact of the matter is, I read somewhere that Elizabeth Warren is worth $18 million. What is she going to give to the society? Okay? I plan to give all my money back. I have a fabulous uh, a family that works with me. Uh, they were part of my decision to take the giving pledge. And I told them at the time my plan was to give away all my money, not half. Give away all my money. And then my game plan is half I'm going to give away in my lifetime, and the other half I'm going to give to my family as a legacy in the form of a foundation where they can meet periodically and give away the money. So... So... Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go finish your thought, Lee. Well, I, I don't need Elizabeth Warren or the government giving away my money. Just tell me what you think the max in tax rate should be. Stop talking about 2% where, you, where, you, where you're basically misrepresenting the facts. It's 2% of wealth. Just think about this. If Jeff Bezos' his wealth is tied up all in Amazon stock, he's going to be forced every year to sell 2% of his stock, regardless of what the outlook is for the company. That's just wrong. It's wrong. It's going to lead to uh, uh, inappropriate actions in the economy that are counterproductive. You're not the only Let one, by the way. You're, you're not the only one who, who makes that point. In fact, I was going through Twitter this morning before, you know, in preparation for our interview, and, and Mark Cuban the other day said a, a very similar thing, wonders about the impact on the stock and other liquidity markets if people like you, uh, other billionaires, maybe Bezos or whoever, uh, is forced to sell stock, for example, to raise cash to deal with a wealth tax? Well, I don't have the problem of concentrated wealth. I'm very diversified. My problem is I think what she's recommending or suggesting is just morally wrong. 
you know, I paid taxes on my income while I was earning it. I paid 37% federal tax, depending on what state you lived in, your state income tax would be 10% or more. I paid the FICA tax. I paid the Obama, uh, uh, you know, tax on investment and dividend and interest income. I, I paid the uh, Medicare tax. I paid all the taxes. And what I have left is tax paid money. And she wants to take another bite at the apple. It's wrong. You know, I'm, I'm big on quoting people this morning. Will Rogers had a great quote. If we got one tenth of what was promised to the state, the state in the State of the Union speeches, there wouldn't be any inducement to go to heaven. Will Rogers. Basically, she and Bernie Sanders are promising things to people that are not achievable. America is the best performing economy in the world. We have the best economic system in the world. Yes, rich people should pay more in taxes. The question is how much more. You mentioned, the Wall, Street. You mentioned the Wall Street Journal, okay, right? The Warren has a fantasy plan. That was their, their op-ed. It's about how she plans to finance the Medicare um, for all. Others, look, people are coming to your defense. We have an op-ed on CNBC.com from somebody who used to work for you who, who comes to your defense. However, there's a piece from Vanity Fair over the weekend. Headline, cranky billionaire scolds Elizabeth Warren for not being nicer to rich people. I mean, you do realize that you're giving Elizabeth Warren an opportunity to hold up your letter and say, see, and she's going to say similar things, and see, here's another billionaire who's unhappy with paying their, in her words, fair share in taxes. She's How do you picking respond the to things wrong, like that? Look, I mean, uh, I can't use an expletive, right? You'll blank me out and you'll get mad at me, but it's bull. It's complete bull. She's screwing around with the wrong guy uh, because basically I want to give it all away. Not, not 50, 60 percent. I want to give it all away, but I want to control the decision. I don't need the government giving away my money. And the idea of vilifying wealthy people is so bogus. You know, they're appealing to the, to, the, to the masses. Every billionaire I know made their billions by providing a productive, useful service or product. And that's why they made their money. And then they take that money and they give it back to society, whether it's Bill Gates and Melinda Gates, whether it's Warren Buffett, whether it's uh, um, uh, Mike Bloomberg, who developed a fantastic machine that is ubiquitous in the financial community. Uh, everyone I know that struck it big, uh, I've written in my letter about Bernie Marcus. He and Ken Langone have given back billions to society, and they employ 400,000 people, and 3,000 of the employees are millionaires. You know, 25 years ago, I was honored by a charity, and uh, uh, at my request, Congressman Jack Kemp, who's deceased, spoke at the dinner, and he said, uh, uh, in America, people don't hate the wealthy, they want to be them. And Warren and Sanders are basically trying to make boogeymen out of wealthy people. And I just, it's counterproductive. It's wrong. You said you That's think all. that, you, you said you think that the, the wealthy should pay more. You don't have a problem paying more. You're in favor of paying more in taxes than what you pay right now? Yeah, I would say so. Uh, I have no problem with that. We have to agree. Uh, I think I said this on your program on September 19th. My effective tax rate was 342 percent. I'm a Florida resident. The only difference between that and 37 was long-term capital gains. But there's so many things. Seven or eight years ago in Squawk Box, uh, one of your segments, I basically said they should get rid of the carried interest. It's not justified. Guess what? Seven years later, carried interest is still in place. IRS Section 1031 that allows these real estate guys and gals to roll over their property sales into other property cost basis. It, get rid of it, okay? Uh, tax rate change. I have no problem with that. I just have a problem with vilifying uh, the wealthy. They should not be vilified, okay? They shouldn't be praised. They should be treated like everybody else. Uh, and uh, also, I have a, uh, a problem. If you ask Bernie Sanders what the marginal tax rate should be on wealthy people, he'd say 90%. And Elizabeth Warren pedals this 2% baloney. It's 2% of wealth. It's not of income. There are other things we could be doing. You know, and it's going to be impossible to enforce. Just think about it. Every year, somebody's going to calculate their net worth and then write a check to the government of two percent of their net worth. It's crazy. You said you're in I'm favor. I'm not looking to pick up. You, you say you're in favor of a surtax on millionaires, the so-called Buffett rule. Is is that right? How would that work? What tax and tax would be open? Okay. You you uh, you know. I won't say I don't him to get upset with me because it was a private conversation. But, you know, I asked Warren Buffett what he thought 
uh, five years ago. And he said if you make a million dollars a year, 35 percent tax rate. If you make over five million, uh, I think he said 40 percent. I have no problem with that. As I said in my letter to Liz Warren, by the way, my, uh, since she never read the letter, she never gave me a thoughtful response. The letter was very respected, respectful of her position, uh, very conciliatory, a desire to work together, which I do want to work together, not confrontational in any sense. Uh, we have problems in the nation. We have to deal with the problems. And the question is how we deal with them. But basically, um, uh, I never heard from her. And she just repeated 2%. And then uh, I think she said, Leon, you were able to succeed because the opportunity this country gave you. Now why don't you pitch in a bit more as everyone else has a chance, so everyone else has a chance to the American dream. I agree with that. Leon. You know, I don't want to talk about myself because I, I, I'm a philanthropist with a small P. You know, Bernie, uh, 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 Bernie Marcus, Ken Langone, uh, Michael Bloomberg, uh, David Rubenstein, they're philanthropists with capital P's. I only wish I had their money so I can give away more. Would you meet with Senator Warren? I don't Warren? have their money. But Would you meet with Senator Warren? In a Warren? heartbeat. And, uh, yeah, I don't have any amnity towards her. Uh, amnity, whatever. I, 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 you know, uh, they just have a different philosophy. And they're in the sound by, sound by business. You know, I repeat what I said a moment ago, but I don't want it to go past anybody. If we got one-tenth of what was promised to us in the State of the Union speeches, there wouldn't be any inducement to go to heaven. Will Rogers. And this um, economist, again, I repeat, since this is an era when many people are concerned about fairness and social justice, what is your fair share of what someone else has worked for? Now, I have no problem giving it all away in the end. I want to control the giving, okay? But, uh, you know, my plan, uh, I basically uh, said before, and again, this is not about Lee Koopman, it's not about Elizabeth Warren, per se. It's about, you know, what's the best system for the country to, fog to operate with.